I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today. I'm at the American Society for Therapeutic Radiology and Oncology meeting where the issue of proton radiation therapy was one of the hottest topics. Dr. Anthony Zeitman of Harvard and Massachusetts General Hospital comments on the evolution of proton radiation in the United States and discusses some clinical trial data he presented at the ASTRO meeting. Well, there's an enormous amount of interest, as you know, in protons that um, is driven partly by the sort of exciting nature of the technology and the advantages it, 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 it potentially presents in the treatment of many cancers in many situations. And the other part is that there is an extraordinary amount of investment in the United States in very, very expensive proton facilities. So. Um, we're in a sort of exuberant maelstrom at the moment, where we're, we're um, the establishment of proton centers is almost proceeding ahead of the evidence of benefit. Mm. The theoretical advantage of proton beam is that the uh, radiation beam is very focused. Um, it treats much less normal tissue than would um, a, a regular radiation beam. And the hope is that you can deliver radiation much more conformally, meaning much better sculpt it to the tumor with much lower dose of radiation delivered to normal tissues. And there, are, there is no doubt in many clinical situations this is true, that you can do it. Um, certainly for some brain tumors, certainly for tumors of the eye and the spine, uh, certainly for pediatric tumors. But the common cancers, the cancer that you really need to um, recoup your investment in vastly expensive proton centers, lung cancer, uh, prostate cancer, there's much more debate. Um, Deep-seated tumors are not perhaps so well treated with proton beam. Uh, there, there may be advantages, but they may not be advantages that, that justify the cost. So we're, we're in the middle of a value um, argument right now. Could you tell us about the study that you reported at Astro today? Um, that was a study in which the Mass General Hospital and Loma Linda, the two of the earliest proton centers in the United States, came together, treated 85 consecutive men uh, with early prostate cancer using proton beam. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, the treatment was safe. Uh, it was reasonably well tolerated, um, but probably no better tolerated than any other form of radiation that we give. Um, I think it's true to say that, um, that, that if I were looking at this data for the first time, I would, I would say, what's the big deal? I didn't see a home run here. Now, that really shouldn't matter. We should say, well, either we've got to use proton beam in a, 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 a more technically sophisticated fashion. That may happen over the next few years to get better results. Maybe it's just that you know, these are the early days of proton beam and, and that will improve. Or we could say, well, let's just drop treating prostate cancer and let's just treat the areas where we know there's an advantage. The problem is that most of the patients in the United States treated with proton beam are treated for prostate cancer. It's the economic driver of the sort of proton avalanche. Mm -hmm. So this is really very critical. Now my data was very early data and it's not final data. And uh, you know, maybe by tweaking the technique we can uh, improve the outcome. But certainly it didn't look like um, a slam dunk winner. From the Astro meeting in Boston, I'm Charles Bankhead. MedPage Today.